Hey everybody, I'm Tommy Ackridge, Tommy Ackridge Designs. Thanks for returning back to my shop. Uh, a few months back I did a few videos of different drying methods and I uh, got a lot of comments from subscribers on different methods and different ways. So uh, I tried a lot of these little different methods and uh, enough time has passed now. I just wanted to kind of catch up on what's going on with them and uh, take a look at them. So let's take a look. Okay, this is what I got here to show you. Um, when I turn a ball and finish it, I want to date it, tell what it is, I weigh it, and I like to check its moisture content. This particular piece here was at 34% when I checked it. And this piece I have kept real close tabs on it because this is the one that I used the Packard's wood sealer on it. Now the anchor seal, I have not used it yet and I don't know why but uh, this just seems to be doing a good job and this was like $16, $17. This was like $35. So. But I am going to try it because I'm not going to let it go to waste, that's for sure. The, one of the other bowls I did, the very first one I did, I used the, the wood glue on the outside of the bowl, left the inside of the bowl untreated, wrapped it with the wrap around the outside, and packed it in shavings. I don't have that bowl out here because uh, when I pulled it out to check it, it's still at 32% humidity level. So. It's got a long way to go to dry, so I repacked it and put it back up. So it's also a large bowl, but it, it's it's going a, a lot slower in the drying process, which I guess is a good thing. So we'll see. This particular bowl started out at 49.14 grams. Today we're at 34.90. We started out at 34% humidity. And now we're at 14% humidity. Now 14% here, where I live in South Alabama, where our humidity is around 100% most of the summer, uh, that's about as low as I'm going to get here. Uh, I'd have to put it in somewhere to really dry it, to really dry it more than this. <clears throat> but I do keep weighing it, and uh, it's still going down, so that means it's still got some moisture in it. So I won't go by this as much as I go by this weight when it quits losing weight and there's nothing else for it to remove. So last month it was 35.42, this month it's 34.90, so it's still losing weight. Now, this is the bowl I completely coated with the wood seal from Packard. And as you can see, it has no cracks. It has hardly changed shape at all. It has come in this way because of the grain orientation. This way it is uh, 14 and 7 eighths. This way it is 15 and a half. So it has come together that much. But as you can see in this one spot here, you can see where it, because it's not, it kind of shrunk in right there. I waited other places, it would be 15, 15 and a quarter, 15 and a half. So, so it is getting this way, and I'm hoping it don't go so far that I can't turn this. But, like I say, it hasn't cracked, so I think that's amazing. And uh, all I did was turn it wet, coated it, let it dry, set it on the shelf. So. That's what you got. That was uh, a live oak bowl. This bowl here is sweet gum. I did it in 7, 8, 16. It weighed 42.38. Today it is at 30.76. And it's at 14% humidity as well. I did it exactly the same way with this sealer. And that's what we got. This bowl has changed. It doesn't have the knots in it. It's 13 inches in that direction and 13 and 3 eighths that direction. So it's a, 
three eighths difference in, in it. So but this bowl is at the low end on the humidity. I don't see it really shrinking as much more than what it is right now. In this bowl, I tried with the the Packer sealer, and I did what was suggested, and I wrapped this outside here real tight. And in doing that, that is 11 and 7 eighths, and that is 12 and a half. So it didn't really do anything to control the bowl from moving. In fact, I think it might have actually hurt it because as you can see here, it's actually humped up on the bottom. So, depending on how much wood I have down here, we'll, we'll salvage this bowl in some kind of way. But I just wanted you to see what happened with this wrap on it. So, as far as I'm concerned, I will steep, I'll keep putting my... Uh, I'll just do my bowls with this right here, or this right here. Just coat them and set them on the shelf, let them dry. Most subscribers who talked to me said that uh, they do productions and that's how they do their productions and they have very good results with that and I see what they're talking about. So, all right, well, I just want to share that with y'all today. And this, like I say, was just a little short video. There's my ugly face. And uh, I just appreciate you watching and I hope this has helped you out some. So thank you very much.